you are going to have a large rate rise now. You are paying for uh, money that's been wasted over the last uh, 21 years uh, that's been squirted away on, and lost. For example, Ellsmore Road, we wasted $260,000 doing a bad ceiling job there, which just washed away. Then we did it properly with gutters and uh, straightening the road. It's been done correctly. So I'm going to be on about waste watch. The ordinary people will know that I'm going to make sure that our money is spent effectively and wherever possible, it's going to be spent locally. I want to support the local tradespeople. I want to support the local retailers and suppliers. And we will, wherever possible, buy locally. The rate rise now obviously is catching up our reserves for money lost in the Lehman Brothers exercise in the global financial crisis. Now the final uh, amounts are not in and we are bound by confidentiality clauses as councillors to not reveal that. But I will say this, it is a substantial amount of money that was put at risk and the opportunity cost, the extra costs of building that have been incurred now, eight years, 10 years later, and the loss of interest are not insubstantial. That will come out shortly. I did ask the question in the last meeting of council so that the public could be informed, but the staff refused to declare that. So yes, people, waste watch, spending effectively, low risk investments, for example, only three star, ethical investments, so we're not investing in coal mines and other companies that are destroying our environment. And the same for our building practices. We should be looking at appropriate in-town infill locations rather than wrecking our greenfield locations with large housing estates where the kids can't afford them. No preferences, no secret deals. Your vote stays with Scandrit. Vote G for GO.